Excellency, Dr. Vijay, Provide Chancellor, Dr. Rashid Charles, ladies and gentlemen, especially students of the Bridge Course. Firstly, I would like to thank Cisco for honoring Dr. Rashid Charles. I think it was well deserved this honor, not only to him, but to Aligarh Muslim University. Excellency, thank you very much. I have been saying it so very often. I started my life as a Madrasa school, and that is why I felt that something needs to be done. Madrasas have been long demonized, criticized wrongly. And since the Madrasas are the largest education network in the country, with every village having a Madrasa, we need to give opportunities to students, not only in Deen, but Dunya. They need to understand both. And I found that it was only Deen which was being taught. They didn't have the tools to make a decent living. All that they could hope for was join some Islamic institution. There's nothing wrong with that. But how many can the Islamic institution absorb? So I had this in mind. I said, let's prove to the world that our mothers are students are better than the others. And hearing the students speak today, I am convinced that what we did was the right thing. You have proved that you are capable. You have proved that inshallah you will make a success of your lives. My family runs a mother son. And the advice I gave to my uncle, I said, teach something modern. I also said something revolutionary. I said, admit non-Muslims into the mother son. Let them understand what mother son is all about. And I'm glad to say that some Christian children did join. They were very reluctant, but they did. And it made a world of a difference to the students because they realized that interfaith dialogue is so very important. People must understand what Islam stands for. And Islamic scholars must also understand what other religions stand for. That is one of the weaknesses I find in our Islamic teachings, in our Islamic institutions. They are not teaching you about other religions. I think they must. And I think the Rashid Charles, you must concentrate on a little bit more on, in, on our students imbibing what other religions have to offer. They also have to offer a great deal of good, great deal of knowledge. Our students must know about all other religions. During interfaith dialogues encouraged by Aligarh Muslim University, I regret to say that our Islamic scholars lacked knowledge of anything else other than Islam. The scholars of other religions knew about their religion and a lot, a lot about Islam. They quoted verses from the Quran, they quoted from the Hadiths. They were very, very learned. And so they beat us in all the arguments because we have nothing to argue about. I would say that here is a crop of young Muslim scholars who are going to set this right. We expect our mother, sir, our Deen Matars, who have been through the bridge course, to firstly, I would expect that you would be the interpreters in all universities, uh, in all the embassies. Why not? You have the capabilities. All that is required is a little bit of English, which I'm very, very proud and very, very happy to see that you have 
Austin. You must concentrate more on that. There is no future in the world unless you learn the international language, and that is English. And of course, you know Arabic, you know Urdu, you know English. You have the world at your feet. I had been thinking of starting the mother sub course, the bridge course. And one day, I did meet the person I was looking for, it's Professor Rafsan Charles. And my first meeting with him, I had no doubt that this is the man who is going to do it for us. This is the man the millet is looking for. So he did not accept any discouragement. He did not accept any obstacles being placed in his path. He just went single-mindedly into the task entrusted to him. And the Professor Asi Charles, let me tell you that we all very, very proud of the good work you and your wife have done for our Dean Madaris. Thank you very much. I would also like to thank the teachers of the bridge course. They are the first ones who have not expected remuneration for teaching you all. They are doing it willingly. They are doing it because they have a mission. They are doing it because they have love for humanity.